happened. Hello? Oh, see, see cutting out automatically, <laughs> cutting out. Hello, hello, check, All right. check, check. Hello. All right. Are we, uh, are we recording? Is this the show? We're ready to start the show. Episode number, I, I don't remember, because the last one got screwed up. Six, I yep. think. Things have gotten confusing. Six or seven. But hey, if you're listening to this, you already saw it in the, uh, in the description. Uh, so you know. Yeah. You already know. Uh, <clears throat> we started the last one, but got interrupted by kids being sick. So I don't finish yeah. that one. I mean, can we <clears throat> talk about, because we haven't talked since then, can we talk about how everything is? Is everything okay? Um, so far, Kara and Nora are sick. Nora's still sick. She's got like a fever for the last five days. And she, yeah. We brought her to the doctor, and she has, like, influenza and pneumonia. Good so Lord. she's been, been on meds and basically bed rest for the last few days. Has the fever come down? Uh, only when she takes ibuprofen. Okay. So it goes anywhere from normal to 104, 105. That's yeah. crazy. So, uh, and then Kara is also sick, you said. Yeah, hers isn't as bad. It's just a little body aches and headache kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of felt like crap on Saturday and I just kind of slept, took a couple of naps, but then I got over it. So it was, it passed pretty quick. And Mila, hope knock on wood, she hasn't gotten anything yet. So, yeah. Now, yeah. I'm not even trying to be funny, but when you say that, my first thought is with everything that's going on there and, and one of your children and, and your wife being sick as well, mm-hmm. how is it that you had time to take a nap? How is it that you had time to nap during the day to oh, get past yours? Like what was going on there? Well, Kara wasn't sick yet. She was still fine. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So I and like I slept. Like, and... Yeah. Like I said, I wasn't even trying to be funny. It was just actually <laughs> curiosity. Like how did you manage that uh, with everything going on? Screw you guys, okay. I'm taking a nap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to make sure I don't get sick. You guys understand. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh so yeah, I mean not probably not the best weekend. No, it was pretty yeah, and then we're supposed to be deer hunting and I never got out deer hunting either. So <gasps> this was deer hunting weekend sick. too? Right. The oh, second man. weekend. The first weekend was was ruined by uh planning bad planning. Remember we did the poker weekend oh so, yeah 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 yep yep so i was like well sorry we'll go this weekend we're gonna supposed to go up north and then Nora got sick so we stayed here and then yeah just everybody got sick so wow uh didn't get out hunting at all so hopefully so that's yeah so that's it for hunting for deer hunting season that's so, it yeah so that's it yeah. oh man bummer yeah so, yeah it kind of sucks but we do still have some venison in a freezer from last year so it's not a huge loss yeah i mean and and you know i mean i can remember the last few years maybe even just last year it's not like you are dying to get out hunting that's not really you like it's a nice no, thing i don't but it's not a right. huge, huge, I do. huge deal for you right i enjoy sitting out in the woods but like i'm not like a trophy hunter i just i if i didn't eat the meat like i wouldn't probably hunt but i right like we love meat other than car yeah. doesn't like the meat but yeah, it's really good. Oh, that's what we hunt, I guess. Yeah. And like you said, just the experience of sitting out there and hanging out and right. enjoying yeah. enjoying Very the experience. Peaceful yeah. and quiet, yeah. But I right. could do that anytime I want, I guess. But I know Well, I that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do have your own set of little set of woods right next to yeah. you. There, so yeah. Oh, it's got another sale. Oh, an offer. Do you guys get a lot of deer in your area right there? Yeah, there's a lot of deer. I just realized, yeah, there um, probably is. Yeah, I mean, I have a trail cam set up just, you know, maybe 100 yards from here, and I get deer every night walking by, yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. That's re- it. This is talking. This is reminding me of uh, <laughs> that time that that time that I was outside. I was at your place and I was outside. <laughs> I didn't. Or wait, I did know that you were going to be walking through the woods and you had that headlight on. And yeah. It was. It was really fortunate that I did know because otherwise I would have <laughs> completely <laughs> freaked out. What was out. I doing? 
Was he getting rid of a chicken or what was I doing? I don't remember what it was. Um, I think yeah, it was a chicken. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. So, yeah, it was just. Uh... <laughs> and that the funny thing was, even though I did know, I was still just like, oh, shit, what the hell is this? Yeah. Uh... And we uh, we uh, lost a lost a kitten this weekend too. Wait wait wait. Okay, so you started with two. You got the two first, right? We started with you, two. Like one a got, month or two ago. Yeah, one got sick and died. And that's the one so, that you had uh, you had your vet friend check. Yeah, we had them both checked in, and then one of them died. I don't know. Got sick when we were gone one weekend and died. Yeah. And then so we got another one of those cats from my brothers farm okay so you had to lost one so we, got another one got another one okay and then we were wor- working on on the, the camper getting it ready for winter and stuff and uh-huh. i was underneath the camper doing something and all of a sudden car just started screaming like hysterically i was like what oh in the hell's God. going on and she had slammed the car door on the poor kitten's head and <laughs> killed it. Oh no. Uh, so she is like she's traumatized by the situation. Oh my gosh. And just speak to clarify yeah. car, this is Cara <clears throat> that did this. Yeah, Car did it. Right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> when so. was was this just this weekend too? Yeah, that was on Saturday. Oh my god, rough weekend yeah. for Cara. I know, but then she found another cat in town that we just picked up. So now we have two cats again. So we'll see how long wow. this lasts. Wow. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, I mean, word doesn't get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's 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 do do do. It's interesting to me that because you got these and uh, why did why are you getting these cats? Well, we keep them on the shop to catch mice oh that's what it was okay yeah okay so they're not like house cats or barn cats no 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 yeah yeah yeah. i was thinking it had something to do with uh for a second i was thinking it had something to do with the fact that you were losing chickens but then i realized that getting little kitties isn't really gonna help <laughs> yeah. in the losing chickens area so that immediately yeah. didn't make sense but yeah. yeah but yeah so you've lost one under kind of unknown suspicious circumstances just got sick right. or just showed up die dead and then i can't even man i can't even repeat the other part because it's i just i feel so bad for her like, yeah oh my gosh yeah yeah i felt bad for her she she felt pretty bad too like i didn't feel like i had to break the news to to the kids and she's like oh god apparently she told nora and she's like oh okay <laughs> just, just, didn't even, yeah, whatever yeah well so. i mean that's the beauty of like i mean you know i mean you and i had have had that conversation years ago right. about the difference between pets and, and barn cats yeah. uh i still would feel this i feel like i would still feel the same way but that's good <laughs> that they don't it's better than yeah. they don't um how i'm trying to i'm trying to imagine after not being able to talk about it now, I'm, it's all I can think about. I'm trying to imagine how the cat's head was in the door of the car. Like, what can is there anything well, you can explain okay, there? So, or? She had running boards, right? So she was standing on the running boards, which is just below the door. So yeah, she was okay. standing there looking up, and then car just okay. slammed the door without looking. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty pretty that gruesome is, scene for a while. That is, that is a violent <laughs> end. Did she have to just hose yeah. her car off then, basically? Was it well it was my car? No, it was fine. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> uh, oh shit. I guess I didn't think oh. about that. I haven't looked, I guess, to see if there's a lot of blood there, but uh, Yeah, who knows? Uh, yeah. yeah. Some brain matter, I don't know. Yeah. Poor oh. sparkles. Well, R.I.P. Sparkles. I'm a little surprised you actually <laughs> named them, but I suppose with two uh, two little girls, you can't name, help yeah. but name so, them. Yeah. So we still have Diamond, and we haven't named the other kitten yet. So we'll we'll see if we name it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you started with the first two. What were the what was the names of the first two? Shoot, no, I can't remember. It was Sparkles and. <laughs> Shoot, I don't remember what the other one's name was. It was something similar to Sparkles, though. Okay, yeah, of course it was. (laughs) 
Yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't remember. I'll have to ask. I, don't, I forgot what it was now. And oh, Diamond okay. is the other one you said you remember? And Diamond, because she named her, she has a stuffed animal cat that is named Diamond, and this kitten looks exactly like it, so we called her Diamond. Oh, okay, sure, sure. That <clears> checks and, out. Yeah, and they haven't met the new cat yet, so they haven't named it yet, but... <sighs> wow, I mean... You were bringing some. You were bringing some business tonight. It's uh, uh, geez, Louise. Yeah. How about your end? What do you have going on this weekend? Oh, man, I mean, <laughs> nothing all that exciting. <laughs> uh, I did some cleaning. Uh, yeah, went for a few walks. You know, uh, watched a couple movies. Uh, right. Watched that Vikings game today, which was a wild what affair. A, what a crazy game that was! I mean, you know, it's been like in our mm-hmm. lifetimes. It's been like you know over thirty years of, of games that we might even actually possibly remember watching. Yeah, and so you know, to say that was one of, <clears> if not the craziest games, uh, especially Vikings games ever. Uh, in our lifetimes it's, it's hard to say because who knows but damn yeah i mean holy shit that was wild and then when we we didn't get in in the end zone at towards the end of regulation i was like well all right that's that's fine we hung with them i'm i'm yeah i'm not i'm not upset about this loss or whatever right. Right. and then i was thinking like i even told carl i was like you know what they're they can't just kneel it they have to run a play like we could easily get a safety and get the ball back with a minute left you actually there might said be a this chance before here. what happened happened. Right, yeah. Wow. Right, yeah. So I, and then they fumbled and even scored a touchdown. Was yeah. way, way better. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, that's well, And that was crazy, too, because I didn't even think of, like, the safety thing. But mm-hmm. I heard uh, I heard PA's call of it. Oh, it is? And, you know, immediately, because they could only see what they could see. And, and he was like, oh, they didn't get out of the end zone. It's a safety and then oh. it's just like nothing was happening. No call came. No call came. And they, they were literally like, what's taking so long? You know how they are. They just say exactly yeah. what comes to mind because they're so crazy. And then, yeah, it was suddenly it was like, oh, my God, he dropped. So, yeah, it was just like, yeah, I, it's it, it was a legitimate yeah. point. It wasn't your average, okay, we missed right. our chance. Now they have the ball with under a minute left. Kneel, 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 game over. Yeah, I, I never even thought of it, but uh, yeah, yeah I, still, even given that, I can't believe you thought of that because that's just like the number Dude, of a, times that something like that would ever even happen, you know? I'm a top football mind here. I think of these things. That's, Deep I mean, I guess, I guess I knew that you were to a certain point, <laughs> but I guess you're even beyond what I understood. I yeah, know. I know the X's and of the uh, of the game, you know? <laughs> yeah. You're watching the all 22. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. Really fun. And, you know, yeah. I said to Dave, I was like, I, you know, I, it's been since, it's been since 2009 since the Vikings team tried so hard to get me to care and believe, you know? know, and I still, it's still just like, yeah. Then they play the Cowboys at home next week. We'll see, you know. Right. But right. Uh, yeah, I mean that was like it's like you said, like whatever happened after in the last little bit that was just all crazy. Uh, it was impressive that they went in there and and didn't fold and, and put up a fight right. and and then to win is just icing on the cake. Well, all right. Are you uh, ready Should we to work? do this? I yeah. We we'll should probably get this done. Try to keep it under an hour and 45 minutes this time. I think that was kind of a little <laughs> yeah, long I last think, time. <laughs> I think everybody wants that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So, first up is Link's Crossbow from the Nintendo Wii video game. Doing it this way it might take a little longer, I guess. But, uh... 
Doing it what way? Like packing as we go and not, not working ahead on you. Oh, well, yeah. I'm sure it will. <laughs> I still like the old tape better, but I do kind of like the little squeak <laughs> that this tape does. Well, I like that I can that still was, hear it a little bit. That was an eBay tape, so it's a little different. Oh, 16, okay. 13, 16, 13, 4, 2 pounds. I like to throw eBay tape when I reuse boxes. So, like, if there's a, like, this is an Amazon box, I like to cover it with eBay tape. So, oh, sure, sure. Yep. Customers not thinking they're getting something from Amazon. So you guys uh, went to, did you go to the hospital on Thursday night? We didn't go to the hospital. We just went to a clinic. Or she somewhere. did. She went to front of the, Yeah, she brought it to the clinic. And then she had x-rays on her chest, and that's when we found the pneumonia. Oh, okay. And then they did, like, a COVID test and influenza test and RSV test and yeah. So she had influenza and then pneumonia. That seems really aggressive to have both of those at the same time. Yeah. I feel, I mean, she's just coughing constantly. It sucks. Yeah. So. I'm just changing the stuff on the printer stuff here. That's why it's a little extra so I get. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. right, there we go. All right. Link's crossbow sold for $22.38. Profit of seven dollars and sixty one cents. The date October twenty first, twenty twenty two. Did you notice Pirate Ship changed their graphics on their site? Uh, you know, I just noticed that now when you said that. But yeah, <laughs> there it is. And I did notice when I shipped that you had to scroll up a little bit to get to that. Uh... <laughs> right. Isn't that dumb? It's like not a big deal. Right. It's just like really pirate ship. Oh, but I love your new we graphics. Just... Nice job. <laughs> just so you, it looks you great. doing one thing. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, we have a Sato printer. Control panel. Control panel is what I was going to say before yeah. you, oh, you interrupted. Okay, I, I, okay. Yep, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> I had three of these. I parted one out and I listed one. And I still have one left to do, but I might just part it out if I get 200 bucks for one. Yeah, no shit. Sure. Twelve nine five. Two pounds. Now was that the silent tape? That was the silent tape. Okay, yeah. I like it. I have a question I've been meaning to ask you. It is generally inconsequential, just curiosity mm -hmm. question. Uh, when I do the purchases, uh, when I'm putting stuff in the inventory and whatnot, uh, the like, if an item is like uh, $29 and 
99 cents, right? Yeah. But then if it's sometimes it's like $29.97 or 29.95. I'm wondering why those the the cents are very why are they not uniformly like 99 or 95 or 97 or uh, I don't know. I I change it just because I, sometimes I hear like, oh, don't put 99 cents in there. I don't know 95 cents. So I just, I just <laughs> kind of mix it up once in a while. There's no real okay. rhyme or so it's, to it. I, I gotcha. Just kind of a whim thing. Right. Uh, the printer, what was it? Frame? Control panel. Control panel. So for $211.75. Profit $187.37. Listed August 11, 2022. Oh, man, I forgot that this was the order with the the big, huge printer sales at the I beginning. Know. Yeah. Some prepackaged are ready to go. All right. So, yeah, the star dot matrix receipt printer. 12, 10, 8, 9 pounds. And we got one left of these, and then all out. Glad to hear you have one more. Yeah, that's true. So a few items in, how are you feeling being on camera? Is it is it something that's in your head a lot? No, not at all. Actually, it's pretty normal. <laughs> Wait, it's normal I, I, for you to be on camera? <laughs> I mean, it feels as normal as it would if I wasn't doing I just picking my nose less, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> less. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this receipt printer sold for $344.92, profit $268.23, listed October 28, 2022. I'm just now realizing that I actually put a post up on our Insta about making over $500 in printer sales this weekend, which actually yeah. brings me to a question. Uh, and and I guess it wouldn't be something that you would answer here because it's kind of the nature of the question, which is we need to talk about if there's anything I shouldn't put on the on the Insta account <laughs> about your business, um, you know. Uh, so think about that, and we can come back I think to that. I mean, not that I like I said anything eBay wise, I I don't think it matters. I would just I wouldn't worry about anything in eBay. I don't think. Yeah, okay. I, I also just put story up... tonight, too. Did you know? Oh, did you? No, I didn't even see it. I was just going to tell yeah. you I posted, uh, I posted a little commercial for your fantasy football rings just, to, oh, just yeah. before you called. <laughs> yeah. All right. Meanwhile, up next, we have a Christopher and Banks women's snowflake Christmas button-down sweater. This is going to American Fork, Utah. Ooh, good, good little city. Tell me that you knew of the existence of American Fork, Utah. I can't say that I did. 10, 10, 4, 2 pounds. I'm just glad it's America fork because, like, I don't need any of these <laughs> foreign forks, you know. <laughs> the Russian fork or something like that. Yeah, nobody wants that. I 
I don't want to get politically charged. Let's not get, get politically charged tonight. Let's just not do it. Yeah. All right. All right. We won't do it. <laughs> I know you have a lot to say with everything that's going on. Yeah, let's kind of. Roughly. Yeah. She doesn't like it or not, but. Uh, this sweater sold for $32.74. Profit $15.87. Listed October 23rd, 2022. Speaking of fantasy football rings, we have two sold to one person. I needed Austin Eckler to score some points tonight, and he did not do anything tonight. Austin Eckler plays for the Chargers. Final yeah. answer. 12 ounces. That is correct, by the way. I don't think I would have known that if I didn't remember that it was Chargers Niners, and I, I, was, <laughs> I was pretty sure he was a Charger between those two. Sorry, how many ounces did you say on those? Uh, 12. 12 ounces. One of my favorite parts, aside, like probably my favorite part was the the insane fumble that never happens. But probably my second favorite part of that Vikings Bills game was the uh, dueling one handed catches. Oh my god! Yeah, was that crazy. was absolutely insane. Like Diggs's was great. Right. Jefferson's, I just don't. I still don't get it. Like I don't understand <laughs> how that happened. Right. That's crazy. That was absolute madness. Yeah. And just, you know, just a little thing where it's like we traded digs and got a draft. Pick right. I know. Just all of I that. And that. They, that was just crazy. Yeah. I had forgotten that that's what we got in for digs when mm-hmm. they said that on there. Like, oh, yeah, that's freaking crazy. Yep. And digs is awesome, but I would, I would, I would, I'm glad we made that trade. Yeah, I'm absolutely. Jefferson for sure. I believe I have made my feelings about Diggs known in the past, so <laughs> I definitely agree with you. That was one of my favorite parts, too, is is uh, the fact that, like, when it looked so much like they were going to win, they kept showing him, and he was just, he couldn't have been more pleased that they were going <laughs> to win, and yeah, I enjoyed that. Uh, two fantasy football rings sold for a total of thirty nine ninety, profit $12.32. The state September twenty second, twenty twenty two. I got into my old ways, and I uh, already bagged this one up without without waiting for you. So <laughs> did you just forget, or just <laughs> yeah? I was just going just an automatic. Pilot. Yeah, well, that is. Because, I mean, not only is that your old ways, but you used to love, like, racing and trying to see <laughs> right? So it's definitely a yeah. thing with you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so then we have the Vintage Woolrich Women's Medium Wool Knit. God, these fucking titles. Austrian sweater, vest, heart, buckle, blah, blah, blah. That's 12 on, or 10 ounces. I guess the I, 10 ounces. I don't, I want you to know that I'm not trying to besmirch your listing. Like, I get why you put mm-hmm. it all in there. It's just like, I'm trying to figure out how much of it I should read. And sometimes right. I get in deeper than I mean to, and I'm reading all of it. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, this was, this was a mistake. <laughs> I guess, because I try to pick out the words that matter to describe with what the, we're talking about and yeah uh, with the uh 20 inch bust and a uh, length of 27 <laughs> yeah, inches yeah exactly
use the elevator music right now. <laughs> I was just going to say, I really appreciate, because I had just gotten to this page, I really appreciate <laughs> that you experienced the thing where it starts in the middle of the page. Like, I know. <laughs> that's, that makes me happy that you, you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, I actually do like that. If we did, uh, as we talk about, if we did have the production that we that we would desire, we wouldn't just edit out the silences. But I, I like the idea of putting in the little uh, the 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 hold music, the right. the waiting yeah. music. Yeah. Uh, this particular sweater, I think it was sold for thirty seven dollars and eighty four cents. Profit twenty four forty. Listed September 17, 2022. Up next, we have a vintage Arctic cat snowmobile cap. Didn't do that time of year because the snowmobiles yeah. are. Yeah. As we talked about before, go to any bar in Minnesota, you'll see about 90 <laughs> of these things. And the only way, four ounces, so that's nice. <laughs> that is nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely one of my favorite things where you try to, you try to like naturally work in the weight. <laughs> <laughs> for $23.68, profit $14.69, listed November 11, 2022. So, so this one's going to Michigan. I'd like to see one go to Florida or something. One, one day, we're going to see one go, go to... Ooh, that would be interesting. And to I people mean, if collect... You're, if you lived it, yeah, I wonder. I want to hear what you were going to say. Go on. I was gonna say, like, how cool! I was, I was about to say, how cool would it be, like, if you're in Florida and you're wearing a, like an Arctic cat hat, but then I realized, like, you don't want to wear Arctic. Like, it would be so hot. <laughs> but I, I think mean, they have like they have baseball caps you could get, I suppose. Sure, but that wouldn't be as fun. I thought that was your, I thought that was the whole point of your bit <laughs> that it would be funny yeah. because it, yeah, it's warm. <laughs> so, so now I'm confused. I don't know what you were thinking initially. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, we'll leave it at that and move on <laughs> to the next item, which is a Hallmark ornament of the USS Enterprise. That's uh, what? That's Star Wars? Is that right? Mm, Star Trek, right? Oh, that's right. That's right. The next generation. TNG. Uh, eight ounces. I have given the original Star Trek series a go a little bit because uh, I remember my dad really liked I yeah. would watch it when I was a kid. But I've never I don't think I've ever once seen an episode of like any of the of any of the rest of the millions of Star Trek shows that they did after that. Hmm. Good surprise me. I haven't yeah. either, but uh, I, I watched like the, the original, like maybe the first couple. Mm -hmm. Never really got into it. And I know it's just yeah. recently, within the last few years. And uh, never watched any of the other ones. Yeah. Are you trying to fuck with any of the like Star Wars stuff that they're making on Disney Plus now? Or, or uh, funny, I actually just started Endor last okay. night. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've watched The Mandalorian, and what's the other one? Oh, they did a they did a um, Obi Wan 
one, right? Like a young. Yeah, what was that? Is that right? I'm not even sure. I don't remember now. No, I'm really. I don't remember now. I don't remember yeah. what that series was even. But yeah, I have watched them, and I like I just I just realized that I don't know how long this has been out, but I just started it last night, and it's, it seems pretty good. So okay. And it's a, it's its own completely separate thing. Like you didn't need to watch. Correct. Any of the other but ones to I watch. I think this. the okay. last one at the end kind of collided with each other a little bit. What do you mean? So what I, do you mean? The last one? What what the last one was? Uh, I gotta look it up. Because now I, I I can't remember. It was some Mandalorian and what yeah. Was it, what was the other one? Oh, you're gonna look up the one you can't remember. Yeah. And uh, at the end, they ended up like the two characters ended up being in the same. Uh, oh, I gotcha. Up, okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I did Mandal- start the Mandalorian when it came out back back then, yeah. and I I enjoyed it enough, but I just didn't never stuck with it. I guess. Oh yeah, was it? Boba Fett. That's what it was. <gasps> That's what it was. Okay. That's what yeah. It was. yeah. So those two did meet or come together towards the end, I think. But sure. But Endor wasn't that the one with wasn't the Ewoks in Endor? Or am I thinking that? Like that's what I was thinking, but I didn't. I wasn't looking at that. Um. I yeah, I think that's right. I remember as a kid, like I love the Ewok movies. Like we had on VHS. Like I. Oh yeah. I always watch that. Yeah, I mean, we were kids. We were. It was. It was for us. Like that's you know. And from like, what I understand, first... adults did not love the inclusion of Ewoks <laughs> right. in the Star Wars film. Yeah, the first two episodes did not have any Ewoks in, so I was kind of questioning if that was correct. <laughs> right. That's correct. Oh, and then they did show up eventually. I don't know. Are, I've are only seen two episodes. Two. Okay. I've only seen the two so far. Yeah, I'll probably yeah. watch one tonight. Are these uh, what, like forty-five minutes to an hour or half hour? Yeah. No, I think that's probably right. Forty-five minutes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this uh, Star Trek ornament uh, sold for twenty-two dollars and two cents. Profit thirteen twenty-four. This did November eleven twenty twenty-two. Up next, we have a Dymo Label Writer 400. Ten, eight, six, three pumps. I swear I keep hearing things in Mila's room, but like when I look on there, there's like no movement or anything. Mm, that must be kind of disconcerting. No, I mean, not, not, I mean, it's definitely her making noise, but she doesn't even move. Oh, so it's probably better. It's not, it's not like, yeah, it's not anything. <laughs> ghost? <weird. laughs> it's not ghost. <laughs> right, yeah, no. When was the last time you saw Poltergeist? Nineteen ninety two <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Oh damn. Yeah, a long time ago. And I think we've discussed you're not opposed to scary movies. Is that, is I that enjoy correct? I enjoy I like scary movies. Yeah, I gotta recommend getting back into poltergeist then. The original ones? Yep. It's definitely every time I watch it, which has really only been probably you know like that uh, aside from the time when you're a kid and it's just like way too much it's just like ah. <laughs> yeah. since becoming an adult i've probably watched it three times like over the course of like the last 20 years or so you know and every time it just gets better and better and the last time i watched it was this uh halloween season and i was just like god damn this is such a good movie it's it's it hits me better every time I every time I see it. And Coach is in that one, right? He is. Yeah. yeah. Very young, very spectacular. 
Uh, Dymo label writer 400 sold for $74.16. Crop it $48.49. Listed November 1st, 2022. And we move along right into a vintage Erica sweater vest. Green. <laughs> this was, uh, I don't know if I told you about, like, I went to a garage sale and this lady was selling all of her mom's clothes after she had passed. Okay. And, uh, and they were all, like, really good condition. They were, like, super awesome, like, top brands or whatever but after like to buy all of them and she was like 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 she didn't want to like well what are you gonna do with them like and i told her like oh i sell on ebay and she, and she's only selling for like a buck or two a piece so it wasn't like yeah i was asking i wasn't it wasn't gonna be even if i paid retail for her or whatever she was asking it wasn't gonna be that much but right but yeah so i bought i know it was uh, how many i filled up my whole vehicle full of clothes so that's where i've been eating off that for the last couple months 12 ounces <clears throat> 12 ounces so you said she was hesitant like what i mean what ended up happening did you not buy as much uh, as you wanted or did she no give, did she i, I kinda... ended up she ended up like i i figured it out and she, i didn't get like a super good deal on it not that i was really needed one because she had some cheap but like right. i think about i did track it at one point in time i don't remember all the pieces i think i paid 250 for like 200 pieces or something like that okay so that's a pretty good deal do you find that a lot when you do it like buying what you're buying for because of what you do i mean are people because like i can't like why do you nothing against this this woman but like why mm -hmm. do you think she was hesitant like why why would that not be a good deal for everybody for well, you to just do that because she had just advertised that she had all these clothes. Like she even called. Like while I was there, she was talking to somebody on the on the on the phone, and she was like, "Yeah, and we got lots of top women's clothing sizes, or whatever, whatever, oh, and sweaters." And and, all, and then she got off the phone and said, like, "Oh, that was kind of embarrassing. I hate doing that." But she called yeah. the radio station advertising her garage sale. And then, oh, wow. so, and then I bought all of her clothes, and she was like, oh, I just put her <laughs> advertisement for all these clothes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I can I can understand that to a certain point, but hey, we're here to sell, right? So right, exactly. That's kind that's of the I point. Get it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Sweater vest sold for $19.49. Profit $9.19. Listed November 7, 2022. A lot of November listings selling this weekend. That's interesting. I didn't, you know, I kind of do it all in bins, like certain bin. Um, and then I go in order. And uh, I didn't notice they're all kind of in the same area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have a... Victrola 78 record. Amelita Gali, maybe? Is the maybe is the artist, maybe? I did listen to it. It's a it's a very interesting song. Okay. It's a single. It's a single release. Is it super old? I mean it seems like it's Yeah, it's that's from uh probably like thirties or forties. Yeah. That's no, kind of what I was imagining. Yeah. 1905. I still don't have the best way to pack these things. 78. All right, because there's no... Uh, is there no sleeve? Well, I have a like a paper sleeve, but these things are fragile. So they, yeah. They shatter, you know? So. Yeah, right, right, right. So I kind of go with that, taping them to a board. That seems legit. I mean, what else can you do? I haven't had one break yet, so not this way, but that's why the first, I guess. Moving. 
I don't even I don't even know why this isn't even just doesn't even really make any sense. But you were just talking about how you haven't broken one and so blah blah blah. <laughs> For some reason, it just popped into my head to say. Well, just don't slam it in a car door. Because, I mean, that really doesn't even... <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything. Obviously, slamming it's a it in call a back. car door It's a callback. It's a callback. We'll take it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so the, just don't let car take it to the post office. Just slam it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. That works it in nicely. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's two pound medium ale. All right. I keep wanting it to be something that I can text her about to like make a joke, <laughs> yeah, but don't. it Please. keeps being it keeps being too tragic that I even right. I can't cross that line. Yeah, that's yeah, it's uh <laughs> maybe someday, but like yeah. No, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I definitely will not, because, no. Ugh. Mm. And just the fact that you said she screamed like that, too. It's like, it was, it was such a visceral, violent experience that it was just, like, that reaction. Yeah, I mean it was, a, it was a it was a gruesome scene, to say the least. <laughs> uh, yeah, I imagine. I don't want to go trying. into the specifics of it. I was but, just gonna know. say I, I'm trying not to imagine, but <clears throat> how about this you, uh, uh, 78 record? How did that go? Uh, yeah, Amalita Gali sold for twenty dollars and fifty seven cents. Profit twelve dollars thirty cents. Listed January 20, 2020. I'm going to start listing all the 78s. I have so many 78s to the list. Uh, those, I feel like I have done some some work on trying to list those. They're kind of a pain in the ass, if I recall. Because mm -hmm. they're yeah. hard to find. They're hard to look <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. That's... Actually... Uh, once I get into this next item, I have another. That reminds me of another question. I have kind of an arsenal of questions that are mm. totally inconsequential, so I don't really think to ask, but sometimes they come up. Uh, up next, we have a men's Under Armour shirt, long sleeve, red. Nine ounces. This is going to Waco, Texas. What can you tell me about the most famous thing to happen in Waco, Texas? Uh, it was not a high school like football team in Waco. Pretty good team, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad guess because Texas they they're uh, they're big uh, yeah, on football. Uh, what was that guy's name? Well, see, and this is why, because obviously everybody knows. Right. But what do you actually remember is I, the interesting I, thing. Well, I did watch the uh, the movie on it a, a couple of years ago. Oh, was um, it like a, so a, a modern it was like a movie? Yeah, it was like a Netflix movie or something. I can't remember what it was called. Okay. Oh, or maybe it was a series, and I never finished it. Actually, I think it was a series I never finished. Hmm. Interesting. Because I was thinking I like, never finished yeah, it was it was kind of disturbing to me, and I didn't really want to watch it once I got through the first episode. Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, so you don't remember the gentleman's name? I I yeah, I should think of it. <laughs> uh, we'll leave that one on the table for now. Yeah, uh, I'll, yeah I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, oh, interesting. Bold prediction. Uh, Under Armour shirt sold for $20.24. Profit $10.70. Listed September 25th, 2022. Uh, going back to the question I thought of when we were talking about the 78s and difficulty listing them, uh, mm -hmm. I find that 
uh, I find that the next item that we're packaging is a women's black corduroy <laughs> vest. And the weighs 12 ounces. 12 ounces. Uh, I find that CDs, uh, like classical music CDs, mm-hmm. are also difficult to look up because they don't really have a title. And right. sometimes it's like, who's the artist? Like, you you know, it's it's some schmo doing Bach or Beethoven or whatever. So, like, what do you put in? And there's not really... I'm sorry, did right. you say 12 ounces? Correct. Okay. Uh, there's yeah. not really, most like, those, a title. Right. Most of those I just skip over because most of them aren't worth anything anyways. But Well, so this is the thing. This is why I, it's, it's a question <laughs> that I've had is because I have the CDs that I have that I worked on here. Yeah. And there, there were a handful, a small handful of... Uh, of classical music CDs that made it through okay. and I'm supposed to match up and be able to look it up to match it with what you use to price it so that I can sell similar. Right. Oh, sure. And so then I can't find it. And it's really funny to me because I know it's hard to do because I've done the part that you did, which is, you know, mm-hmm. looking it up and pricing and everything. And now I'm on the other end where I'm just trying to find one to sell similar but I can't. And so I'm like, well, what did he find? Mm-hmm. Like, how did he find it? And obviously there's a, there's a workaround where I can just find something close and be sure to change the details because it's not the same CD when I go to sell similar. But yeah, so I don't know. Like, what do you, how do you list some of those? Like, how do you find a price for some of those? Do you always find, are you always able to find like the, the title when you search it? I- I feel like I do. Um, yeah, and that's like the last time I did before I did the rec or this after I did the CDs for you. Like I did a bunch of them. I just pre-priced them. Mm-hmm. And after I did it the last time, I I just it was so much easier that when I looked it up, got the amount, I would just click it right there because I'm already right there and just list it right there. Right. So yeah, I don't know. Like it's. I, I agree with you. It's the same same thing that yeah. uh, it's a. That's why the the last batch I did, I just listed right away because I was already on the page. I already just sell <laughs> right, similar, right, just right. do it. Right. So right, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those classical CDs are tough. Um, uh, this vest, corduroy vest, sold for twenty seven dollars and nineteen cents. Profit fourteen. Dollars sixty nine cents. Just did October thirteen, twenty twenty two. Moving on to a Dickens Village Post Office. Classic Department fifty six uh, Christmas item. Yeah. There. Yeah. I really like these because my mom liked collected these. Not huge collection, but had a few yeah. when I was a kid. And you know, they have like open windows, and you can like put a little light in it, and it looks like yep. it's light. Yeah. So I have some of those now yeah. that I set up for Christmas when I set up for Christmas. Yeah, the funny thing about like these things is like you get one or two to start your little village, mm-hmm. and then like you're committing yourself to getting those for your Christmas present for the next <laughs> years, you know? Oh, a hundred percent. I know. It's like, yeah. Well, just yeah. get my new village thing. Yep. Oh yeah. Great idea. Yep. <laughs> and there's gotta be some point your mom would have been just like, ah, Oh, this well, will look great. Here, right? <laughs> I mean, that's the question, right? Because it's like, but, I know she, she genuinely liked them, but of course there is a possibility that it was like, Okay, I mean, I get it, but enough. But at the same time, what is a mom to expect from her family for gifts? Right. Like, at least you're getting me something I actually like because I know that it's probably not going to be much more than that, you know? Yeah, I once gave my mom a uh, a hand mixer. This is like... <laughs> 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 this is like the first time I'd ever bought her a present by myself. 
And so I was like kind of proud, like, oh, I got her something. I, maybe she would. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. This, this is still very vague as to how old you were <laughs> because the first time you bought her something on your own, I mean, I, so yeah. So how I mean, I was, like, was this? Nine or 10, something mm. like that. Like, <laughs> like mm. I don't remember, like maybe dad gave me some money to go buy a mom present or something. Okay. Like so I was like, it's time so for that, you to figure this out. Yeah. yeah. So, so okay. I got like, well, she's, she's in the kitchen a lot. She like kitchen stuff. So I got her that. And, then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she did come up like a couple days after Christmas, like, Hey, I, don't be offended, but do you mind if I return this and get something else? Oh, interesting. <laughs> she, like, she, oh. Actually, she actually consulted with you on it. Yeah, she did. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. So I was a yeah. lesson that women don't just want kitchen stuff, apparently. I don't know. Well, and see, that's, I think it's, I think that's, a, that's probably ultimately a really healthy thing that she talked to you about. Right, yes. Because my first thought was, you weren't going to notice if she just returned it. Like, how right. were you, you know? <laughs> right. But yeah. yeah, maybe, maybe she was smart enough to think like, well, let me try to teach this dumbass something. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. But anyways, one of these things fit in a 10 by 10 by 10 box and weighs four pounds. 10, 10, 10, four. All these 10s reminds me of our uh, 10, 10, 220 <laughs> segment. From See, I think that whole, ago. that whole thing got lost in the last one because, or was that part of the, the two hour run that we did? I don't remember now. Oh, I think so. Yeah, no, that wasn't oh, okay. in our that wasn't in our interrupted one. Okay. No, uh, yeah, that was definitely the longer one. So anybody who stuck around for the whole hour and a half <laughs> into it, to it would. Oh, sweet lord! I did have one friend tell me that she listened to one one show. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. One 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 only. That's all I've. That's the only feedback I've received so far. Yeah, you know, if, <laughs> if it continued on, I haven't been told about it. It really, it's really funny to me sometimes to how much we we chat, especially now that we're doing this whole thing. When we come back, and it's like, are we still on this Dickens Village thing? Seriously? Like, <laughs> I, know, I know. I hope I'm not messing this up and putting David wrong Crush. numbers in the wrong items. Did you right? just think of that? I just, I was, I had the last name figure almost there. Like I was like, oh, okay. or something like that, and then it just kind of hit me. I believe Kanish is like a Jewish. Uh, isn't isn't a Kanish like a Jewish delicacy or something? Does that? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Does that bring a bell I was thinking of like I was thinking it was like a Hindu god, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, that's uh, I think that's Ganesh. Ganesh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> in between or somewhere in between there. They're all, all three the same thing, right? I oh, see, I was just <laughs> I was just about to say. We're talking about these things, and I don't think we're being offensive. And then you said that. And I was like, well, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, the uh, the Dickens Village Post Office sold for $38.87. Made a profit of nineteen twenty three. Listed November 5, 2022. Hey, I got a question for you. Hit me. What is the name of Hawkeye's grandfather in the uh, in the show Mash? <sighs> wow, I mean that's just right out the gate with Mash trivia, and it's what was the name of Hawkeye's grandfather? I, I don't hate it. It's not one of the hateable Mash trivia questions, but mm -hmm. I certainly don't know the answer either. So uh, I will, I, you know, it's a name. I can throw out a guess. I will say uh, Miles Pierce. Final. Sparky. That's it. Sparky. Sparky Pierce. <laughs> does does it actually say Sparky Pierce? <laughs> it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Smash Trivia. Thanks again. Um. 
I have a discrepancy with this next item. Do you know what it is? Do you know what's happening? Yeah, I had to look it up for some reason because you didn't, it wasn't on the order right correctly, I think, right? The Ryobi hammer drill? Oh, the hammer drill. Uh, local pickup. He picked it up tonight. There it is. So there's, there's no shipping on it. And just, yeah. Just leave it. Just leave it as is, yeah. Okay, now what were you talking about? I thought you were talking about this this Nike shirt for some reason. Didn't have a location on it, I think. Is it this one? Oh, really? Oh, no, but was it? I'll turn it there. Yeah, well, it didn't have a SKU number in it for some reason, so. Oh, did I add this? No, I don't think so. Hmm. You did add a different one, the Most Dangerous Man Brewing Company one. For some, It didn't have a location or a SKU. Jeez, I don't remember that. I don't know. I don't know. I, which is funny because I remember seeing that, but I don't remember, which, you know, is neither here nor there. I just don't remember it. Uh, up next, yeah, like you said, we have a Nike dark blue pullover hoodie. A padded flat rate envelope. Nice. I feel like it helps a lot that it's not just silent. Like you're you're always doing something in the background. True. Because I'm imagining if I was listening to something and the people stop talking. Yeah. It gets it's weird because I'm always I always check my phone because I'm like, did the thing shut off? Like, did my phone screw <laughs> yeah. up? Or... So I like that there's always some sound in the background so people can know it's at least still going. Well, so I kind of feel like the video maybe be kind of nice to actually see what is going on. Like, it's just yeah. like you hear, all these, you hear all these random noises in the background, but you're like, yeah. what are they doing kind of deal? Yeah. Do you, because I mean, I can't remember exactly how it went, but do you feel like this video format that you're attempting tonight is going to be doable going forward? I don't know. I, I kind of thought about doing like a live stream, but then I don't think I can link you in with the audio. At yeah. the same time, that's the only thing I was thinking. So, um, unless I would purchase, pay for a service of some sort, but I don't really want to do that yet. It could be kind of a trip to do a live stream and just hear your side of the conversation. <laughs> right. If anybody chose to tune in, you know, I'm not sure how I would feel about that. I might, I might listen to that. <laughs> you just hear one side of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, would that be too aggravating or would it be funny and interesting? I'm not sure. Uh, I, I feel like it would be, it'd be tough to listen to. It does seem like it would be, yeah. Uh, Nike dark blue hoodie sold for $60.90. Profit $39.94. That must be a pretty nice hoodie. 40 bucks. Yeah, no, I don't really remember what it was like. <laughs> uh, listed February 16, 2021. Up next, we have a restaurant menu from Shalako Room. Which is apparently a southwestern thing. Five ounces.
restaurant menus are one of the more interesting items that you sell that I just never would have, <laughs> never would have even conceived of that somebody would be buying. But you know, I can kind of get it. I mean, every, like we as we've discussed, somebody collects something. Right. Everybody collects something. You know. Yeah, and you know, and I, I mean, I bought a whole collection of them. So somebody had a collection of them, and I, you know, I bought like a hundred of them for mm-hmm. hundred bucks or something like that. So I figured. I figured if I could sell a few of them, I'd, I'd break even. And I've sold, I don't know how many I've sold, but I've sold quite a few. I was going to say, are you telling, are you saying that like you bought a hundred or so initially and like that's just what you've been selling this whole time? Yeah. This is, oh, I've wow. only bought, I was only one purchase of these menus huh. and that was like three years ago. Interesting. I think it was, I think it was like, it wasn't a hundred of them. It was probably like, Maybe fifty of them. I think I paid a hundred bucks for them, so I maybe okay. paid two bucks a piece. For these. Yeah, I mean those those sell semi regularly. I would say <clears throat> pop up every now and again. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one sold for twenty two dollars and sixty seven cents. Profit thirteen eleven. Listed April thirty twenty nineteen. That's pre COVID, everybody. Yeah. We were just listing <laughs> menus and blissfully going out into public and shit. All right, sorry. I, I, I didn't want to get political. That's, that's <laughs> on me. I brought that up. Uh, okay. Up next, we have the aforementioned Dangerous Man Brewing Company hoodie. Uh, 12 10 for two pounds. Do they have anything like uh, non scrunchy packing paper? I mean, you've you've eliminated the tape sad, but <laughs> there's not much you can do about the about the uh, the paper. I could use peanuts for everything, but uh, mm. pe- peanuts. peanuts. <laughs> and U T S. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, that would probably cost you more, wouldn't it? Definitely, yeah. A roll of paper lasts forever. Like, yeah. I'm always surprised how long a roll of paper lasts. <sighs> this hoodie sold for $34.99. Profit $22.33. List date November 7, 2022. Just lots of Novembers once again. Up next, we have a lot of 10 uh, fuses, is what they are. Mm-hmm. I just learned that there's a new brain tree, Massachusetts. I didn't realize that. Uh, 864, two pounds. 864, two. What gift did Margaret's father give her mother on her wedding night? <laughs> uh, is it just one word, or do I have to be more specific? Two words. Two words. Is is okay. Well, I'll just say. I mean, it's a gun. Is is my final answer? It is not a, a gun. revolver. It is oh, not, it's a, not revolver. a gun. Wait, 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 wait! A riding crop. A what? A riding crop. Oh, no. Oh, what? What is it? It's a brandy flask. Oh, my God. I, I, swear, to God. I swear to God, all three.
three of those I've, I've been <laughs> talked about in that show that dad gave mom. I swear, all a gun, uh-huh. a riding crop, and the brandy thing that you said. But the other ones weren't for, those are for anniversaries. It wasn't for the wedding night. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was on the wedding night. Okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's the question. <laughs> wow. That was a roller coaster. I really had fun with that one. <laughs> I was going to, I thought, I had the thought to watch the MASH movie this weekend. Mm, yeah. And uh, not uh, not streaming on any of the platforms that I have, mm. I discovered. And you didn't check just regular YouTube, I suppose. Um, did I check YouTube? I can't remember if I checked YouTube. Uh, these fuses... Sold for fifty-eight dollars and sixty-four cents. Profit thirty-four eighty-eight. Listed August seven, twenty twenty-two. Up next, we have a ugly Christmas sweater. Twelve ten four two pounds. Who won the Mass Soldier of the Month award? Um, I am going to put that on radar. Final answer. Correct. Yep. Was that the one where they had a test and Klinger wrote all the answers on his body to try to cheat? Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do remember I that. think that might have been that. Uh, I don't know. My guess is Klinger. That's what I was thinking of. But I don't know. <laughs> I think Zale was featured in that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> Did Zale and Rizzo ever appear together, or were they... Uh... See, I always get those two confused. Like, right. And I, I, I don't know. Do you remember the one where Winchester uh, pissed Zale off? Uh, or no, it was Rizzo. Pissed Rizzo off? Because, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, Winchester is going to talk down to Rizzo, of course, given their, <laughs> right. their backgrounds. And... Uh, and Rizzo had uh, had a fake grenade that was completely not active, right? But he told uh, he told Charles it was, and then he quote unquote <laughs> accidentally pulled the pin out of it when he was with, with, when he was with Charles <laughs> yeah. to try I do to scare. Remember, yeah. yeah, that was a good one. I enjoyed that one. Uh, ugly Christmas sweater sold for twenty eight dollars and eighty four cents. Profit sixteen dollars six cents. With date November 9, 2022. I wish I would attract how many Christmas sweaters we got listed. We listed this. Like total? Yeah, because I feel like we've sold almost all of them by now. Yeah, I would agree with that. That is my uh, my guess as well. Up next, we have a string of not working Christmas tree lights, but in an ornate box. Mm-hmm. 14, 11, 5, 2 pounds. I haven't done Christmas for the last two years, I think it's been. Really? And, you know, for a while there, that was a big, that was a big deal for me. Um, I'm kind of feeling 
motivated towards that this year. Yeah, I uh, I have a few. I have a uh, actually I picked this one up. I was going to list. I don't list that. And I decided to keep it. It's a uh, <laughs> it's a goat inflatable Christmas oh. one. I don't know if you can An see it. An inflatable goat for Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kinda Is this cool. like a uh, were there goats at the manger when Jesus was born? No, or... it's just a it's just a goat. I don't know. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> This is a goat wearing a Christmas outfit. I mean, you know, <laughs> you you know what this is going to lead to, right? No, what? This is going to lead to me going, ah, yes, okay, great. I'm a Christmas goat. Now. <laughs> oh, all right, <laughs> terrific. <laughs> uh, yeah, you didn't even see that shit coming. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, these particular Christmas lights sold for thirty two dollars and thirty eight cents. Profit sixteen dollars thirty six cents. Listed November nine, twenty twenty two. What is the percent chance that these lights get returned because they don't work, even though it specifically said they don't work in the listing? Zero uh, percent chance. <gasps> Did you communicate with this person directly? Is that why you're so sure? No, but they're not buying it for the lights. I. I... I don't know. I had it written in there multiple times not working. I don't think that uh, I shouldn't say zero. I would say well, yeah, five, I mean, five percent chance. Okay, I was gonna say. I mean, zero is just a very yeah. Like, I agree that it's not super <laughs> likely, but yeah, let's be let's be somewhat realistic here. Up next, we have. I'm just going to read this out because I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Yellow Jacket Richie Gas Pressure Test Kit. Okay. What is this for? What does it do? I understand it's a gas, gas pressure test kit, but for what? Um, I think, and I don't 100% know. Uh-huh. But I think it's for, like, your gas line in your house. You hook it up to, like find the pressure that's coming into your house. Okay. Sure, sure. That makes sense. I got it in a lot of other stuff, so I just uh, listed it. I don't, I don't really know much about yeah. it. Yeah, well, you're going to make some money off of it. Nice job. It's in a 10 by 8 by 4. Probably 2 pounds. Yep, 2 pounds. All right. <clears throat> what movie is considered to be the hottest film in the States and Far East? Ooh, I think this might be one I brought up independently recently. I'm going to say it's The Moon is Blue. Final answer. <laughs> you, you are correct. Yeah. Love it. Oh, this was really funny, too. Um, remember, we had a question once of, like, Hawkeye, they, they kept getting the same food over and over again in the mess tent and Hawkeye yes. was mad and it was yeah. like what was the food and it was a uh, liver of fish yeah and I saw in a clip show one of the clip shows that they did that was on the other day here they showed that clip and it just oh, really? reminded me that we had that question <laughs> and it was really crazy because uh it came on and you know I mean my dad is nearly 80 years old and you know, as happens, the brain is turning into Swiss cheese. Not super <laughs> aggressively yet, but it's happening. And uh, this clip started, and before Hawkeye even said it, it, Dave goes, a river of liver. And I was like, <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> and it's like, it. even though he may have seen that episode within the last, I don't know, even if it was like last week, 
that's crazy to me that he actually remembered that. So that really stood out to me. I was like, God damn, there's still some shit going on in that head. <laughs> that's always fun to see. Maybe he's just playing you. He's like, he knows what's going on. He's just fucking like, yeah. That's funny because I keep thinking about how easy it would be for me to gaslight him across multiple, <laughs> just all over the place in every way, really. And so the idea that he's doing that to me by, <laughs> by thinking this is, I mean, that would actually, that would be way preferred. That would be way more fun. Uh, gas pressure test kit sold for $29, profit $13. $15.54 listed October 27, 2022. I have a question. Do you remember the movie with Michael J. Fox where his uncle or grandfather or something who is rich is dying or something and like he needs somebody to take care of him and they all find out he's broke? Do you know what movie that is? This isn't ringing a bell, no. Hmm. So then, like, is, so it, like is all, it a comedy? I think so, yeah. So, like, all, right. all of his family members are sucking up to him, like, oh, we'll take care of you because they just want this money. And then they find out he's broke. Oh. And then they, all, they all leave, except for Michael J. Fox, of course. Sure. He ends up taking care of them and then later yeah. finds out he is still rich and he gets all the money. But I don't remember what movie that was. I just thought of that. No, I have no idea. Hmm. I would not have guessed that you would throw a Michael J. Fox movie at me that I would it would just be completely <laughs> not in my at, at anything like that I wouldn't know. You're looking it up, of course. Uh, greedy. Really? What year was this? 19 oh, I just clicked on it 1994 oh interesting okay Kirk Douglas Nancy Travis Phil Hartman boy Phil Hartman interesting okay I gotta be honest you know um Nancy Travis not really a huge <laughs> fan never uh never been a big fan like so I married an axe murderer is fun right mm. But, and I, 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 it's the only thing I've ever liked her in. I do like her in it, but that's kind of the thing is nothing else ever have I, have I been a fan of Nancy Travis. I don't even, I, I don't even know what else she's been in. Like, well, and I mean, she looks yeah. familiar, but. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot. I know she was in a TV show or two. Three that, men and uh, a little lady. Oh, interesting. She wasn't the titular little lady, of course, was she? She was. Uh, she would have been too old for that. Was that still like? Was that still like Gutenberg and Selick and whatnot in that one and dancing? How can I? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Was it really? Yeah. <laughs> Gutenberg. I watched part <laughs> of a part of a uh, <laughs> uh, police academy movie that was on TV oh, man. last week. Yeah. It was brutal. Like, yeah. I remember yeah. thinking how funny these movies were back in the day. And like, yeah. I watched about five minutes and I was like, wow, I can't watch this. <laughs> yeah. I wonder which one it was because, you know. It was the one with... I don't, I remember. So it wasn't one of the first couple because I, right. I didn't recognize any of them. I'm, like, yep. I'm pretty sure I've seen the first couple at least a few times. But yeah. Yeah. Because that's exactly why I was thinking that. Because I don't know. I think I did watch the first one, the original, like maybe four years ago ish. And it, I wasn't like, oh god, this is terrible. But it was just kind of <laughs> like, yeah, okay. I mean, okay, Police Academy, I get it. But yeah, the more you go on in that series, like, yeah, pretty sure it gets pretty awful. <laughs> Uh, next up, we have a John Deere nine inch metal anvil bank. Eleven five five three pounds.
1994. Wow, that's. I'm intrigued. I kind of want to see it. What movie did you watch this weekend? Uh, do you remember this? It's it's funny because I actually use this phrase uh, referring to my dad. Uh, do you remember in school? And I I don't even think it was like we read the book and then watched the movie, but. For some class, I, we, I remember watching a movie called Gaslight. Does that ring a bell to you? Uh, no, no, no. It's like an old black and white. It's from, I don't know, I can't even remember. It was maybe from the 50s or 60s. Um, anyway, I remember watching it at school, and it's kind of was stuck in my head ever since then. And so I watched it. Uh, I found it, and I watched it. And it was actually pretty good. So I watched that. And I also watched a film from, I think, the 70s with Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway called Chinatown. Are you familiar with Chinatown at all? Uh, I don't I've heard of it before, but I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I was, where it was definitely something that I'd heard of, but uh, didn't know anything about. So I watched that and. It was, it was really good. It was also a little disturbing. The, there, there was a, there was an incest rape twist oh, that I did not see coming. Spoilers. Uh, so yeah, that was that was a lot, but I did enjoy it. So not the incest those... rape part. Um, right. No, not so much. I mean, I can respect okay. that as as a, <laughs> as a plot twist. Because, geez. Um, one thing I did notice, though, in watching two older movies, and the thing about Chinatown is that I think it was like 72 or 74, but it depicts, uh, it depicts like the 30s, I think, like the 1930s. So, you know, and then the other movie I watched was actually from, I think, maybe the 50s. So it really stood out to me that the two female leads in both in each film uh and you know i mean gaslight like this woman is being gaslit so she had cause to like be you know going out of her mind a little bit and then in chinatown there was uh, a woman that uh it turned out was raped by her father so she had cause to you know lose her mind a little bit so it was within reason, but I noticed that they both like way, way, way overacted, losing their mind. And it was really interesting because it was just like, you know, like the typical hysterical woman is what I thought. And because, you know, the, from they were they were from so long ago and it was kind of annoying. And I don't even mean from like a from like, a oh, God, you're depicting women as so crazy. Not even that. I mean, there is that element, but it wasn't even that. It was just like it's 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 uncomfortable to watch, and not in a the movie is making me uncomfortable way, but more in a what what are we doing way, you know? Like okay, it's just not that enjoyable to watch. But kind of made you feel like the uh, scene in airplane. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's a pretty (laughs) solid reference, actually. Yeah, I like that. Uh, the John Deere Metal Anvil Bank sold for $37.19, profit $21.64, listed August 29, 2022. Yeah, that was, that was a really strong reference, actually, the more I think about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I finished the, uh, the boys this weekend, finally. Okay, what is that? Season three? Is that what they're on? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. It's. I think it's. I think that'll be the end. If they if they make another season, I don't know if I'll watch it. I think I'm over it now. Okay. I mean, did they go out of season three where it could be the end? Like it would make sense based on no. what they did with it. No. 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 Oh, They're definitely okay. doing another season. So it's like. Uh, mm. You're out. Yeah, I think I'm done. It was good, but it it. It's gonna last me the last few episodes. Yeah. Um, do you remember who said, uh, "quote BJ is a clean cut family man, even tempered." In spite of all that, I really like the guy. 
Well, I have to come clean that this was just in the clip show that I just saw. <laughs> So I feel pretty confident in saying that that was Hawkeye final. Oh, no. Colonel Blake. No, pretty sure it was Hawkeye. <laughs> okay, you're right. Hawkeye. <laughs> I want to see how confident you really were. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, anytime I'm always like, God, I mean, there, it's, there's a possibility that I'm getting this wrong. But yeah, literally just saw that probably like, you know, 30 hours ago or something. Uh, up next, we have a computer mouse. Um, 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 4, 2 pounds. Do you remember Ralph the motorcycle mouse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course I do. <laughs> yeah, I <you> do. <laughs> I remember having to read the book. And I don't, I, it was, you know, I was such a terrible reader, students on reading that I, I know mm. I didn't re finish reading the book, but I know I started it at one point in time that we had, because we had to, but was there a movie on that too, right? Uh, pretty sure there was, yes. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I waited to the movie or waited till we got to watch a movie in class and took that out, but... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm having some kind of issue with Pirate Chip. Can you give me the the dimensions and weight on the mouse again. <laughs> 15, 11, four, two pounds. It wasn't because you weren't paying attention. Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, I don't know. It said like this order has already begun being processed and it was hassling me about oh, really? that and it wouldn't let me continue so i it asked me to hit refresh and so i did and that seems to be working so i'm not sure what was up so there's two new sales we have to do i don't know if you saw those yet i did see that grab them while i'm waiting here saw some starberry gear in there yeah for those shoes i think so yeah yeah i had i owned a pair i wore a pair of starberries or no wait i think i bought like some shorts or pants from work that were starberry back in the day because they were khaki cool story right <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was really kind of struggling to get these shoes out. So I wasn't really paying attention. No, uh, you I had mean, a pair of Starberry. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, honestly, some response would have been great, but it really didn't work <laughs> much of any response because okay. it was just me saying, Yeah, I think I owned something from Starberry once, and that was that. Uh, the computer mouse sold for $46.72, profit $24.90. Listed May 8, 2021. Okay, I'm going to have to go in the other room and get it. So I'm going to leave my uh, headphones here because otherwise I'm going to lose you. So, uh, okay, bye. I'll, right I'll, I'll hold it down without you. Well, obviously, I have to now do something about thank God that fucker is gone. Some type of bullshit like that, right? But I want to rise above that. I don't want to do that. I just... Uh, really what I got to do is add these items to the list. So 202.42 Starberry High Top Basketball Shoes. Yes, yes indeed. Stefan Marbury, but uh, if you don't know, NBA, former NBA player, Check, check, check. Hello. And we're back. <laughs> I tried to talk without you to varying degrees of success. Yeah, I, I could see the comments were pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> the comments were <laughs> popping off. Shit, I didn't even know that. That makes me nervous. <laughs>
Okay, did you the Starburst or were those shoes that you had, or was it a shirt or something else that you had? Uh, the story was, I think, I believe it was uh, shorts or pants because oh, okay. they were khaki, so that's why I got that. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. with the shoes when you are. Fifteen, eleven, seven, four pounds. Well, we managed to go as long as we said we were going to try not to go. <laughs> I know. And I just threw the, the heater kicked on. It was like, I turned the heat, I cranked the heat up when I got here just so it'd warm up in here so the heater yeah. wouldn't go off. Yeah. And then I cranked it all the way down to 58. So that must have dropped below 58 in here since heat came on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, interesting. Okay. Pirate ship is uh, getting a little ornery here. Here's it going to Hawaii. Oh, there we go. Okay. When I pulled up the print page to hit print, it like instead of the preview of the label, it had a little computerized sad face <laughs> like, it, like it wasn't going to do it for me and it was showing me by giving me a computerized sad face <laughs> but uh, I think uh, I think I got it now <laughs> so Starberry shoes sold for $45.69 what is there a problem oh never mind I thought it was going to Hawaii, but it was going to not Hawaii. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things where it says the street is Richmond High. And oh, I just okay. automatically oh, assumed uh, Hawaii there. <laughs> so I was like, we're just going to UPS ground to Hawaii, but never mind. I think uh it might be a little long, but I kind of want to do... I thought it was going to Hawaii, but it turns out it's going to <laughs> not Hawaii <laughs> as the uh, episode title. Uh, Starberry Shoes sold for $45.69, profit $27.39. I got no list date on those. Well, fuck you. <laughs> so fuck you. <laughs> And we have, what was the last thing? Oh my gosh, locomotive brake equipment textbook pamphlets. My goodness. Uh, oh, I knew it. <laughs> what was that? Five English ounces. That you... Okay. <laughs> I said that uh, I didn't uh, even uh, weigh it. <laughs> ah, okay. Mila's been doing this thing where she does, and she says it all the time. It's like her new thing, and it's funny because now I'll sometimes say it. It's like, it could be like, for instance, like, this thing weighs weighs five ounces of C, and like she always says C after everything. And oh, so interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ate it all, C, C. <laughs> sure, right, right. I don't know where she got that from, but now it's rubbing <laughs> off on me. <laughs> Uh, 
adorable. All right. The locomotive pamphlets sold for twenty dollars and seven cents. Profit thirteen oh eight. Wow. All right. So twenty three items. Is that all it was, really? It seemed longer yeah. than that to me. Well, maybe the... it was more. What? Well, maybe it was more now. It was 22 plus the two, 24, I guess, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 25. 25. I just, you know, if we weren't fucking around so much, it probably would have taken us about an hour. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I like the immediate. No, yeah. Uh, grand total for the weekend of whatever this weekend's dates were is nine hundred and twenty four dollars and seventy seven cents. Pretty good three day weekend. That's an average yeah, profit. I would of say so. Thirty seven dollars per. I guess those printers really jacked up the price on that. So. Yeah, but you know that's we'll how it works. It. I mean. You know, right. what, one of the What's most up? amazing things about that Vikings game that I just remembered again was uh, when they got down by the most they were down, which was 27 to 10, yeah. with just under two minutes to go in the third quarter, like the Vikings got the ball back and immediately uh, Dalvin Cook had an 81-yard touchdown. Oh, I, run. Yeah. I, I mean, without that, like it, it's, that, it's just everything that happened in that game was just so crazy including so that. many things yeah and yeah the two picks the two picks um that he had in the in the end zone yes yep. huge um i mean especially that last one like that was just terrible uh, right you <laughs> like, just yeah what you is he doing right you just know they're gonna come down and, and at least you know kick a field goal or win the game the way yeah, they were going that's what, and then was yeah, like, that's uh, what i said too is like at this you know at that point you were just praying for a tie like it was right, yeah. just a tie yeah yeah with the vikings you just you don't expect it no way do the vikings win that game ever right i know that kind of game it's just the number of things that happened yeah uh, yeah i don't know and i hate like to I say said, like it's... gosh maybe maybe this is our year but like well, that's, that's, another, another year that's exactly what I was just going to say. Is like I said before, they are. This is the hardest they've tried to get me to care yeah, and break that shell around my my <laughs> heart. Uh, hey, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. How much is Frank Burns' house worth? Mm. Boy, I mean. Yeah, I don't hate this one because I can I can kind of remember this being, you know, obviously Frank's money situation is a a significant plot point with him. So, mm -hmm. uh, again, I don't hate it, but I don't know it. So I will guess. And that the, see, I hate this, too, because this comes <laughs> down to, well, what in, in the mid 50s, what would like a probably a nice, valuable, right. probably house be worth? And I don't know that. So a guess is going to be stupid because I don't know that. That's but for some reason, the number uh, thirty-two thousand comes. Thirty-two thousand—that's your guess. Yeah, I guess. I say it's really close. Thirty-five thousand. <laughs> See, <laughs> and it's people like you See? that make me See? apprehensive Easy. because See, you it's fuck rubbing around. off on you now. <laughs> it's rubbing Wait, off on you now. You? Now. See? Oh, see. see? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Callbacks galore. Classic. 
Well, in spite of how long this went, which I don't, yeah. you know, I don't know. I, again, like we always say, ultimately when it comes down to it, pretty sure nobody's listening to these. So who really cares anyway? Uh, I thought this was really fun. I thought this was an especially fun night. So. Oh, good. What did you think of it? You didn't watch the video at all, did you? <laughs> I, like how you I like how you just said, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> like not not yeah i, I also agree. felt like this was an especially fun night uh, <laughs> i thought this was really good uh, oh good i'm glad you thought that <laughs> that's really nice that you thought that uh, no i i do feel like it, it was pretty smooth and there wasn't really too many too many breaks or anything yeah like that, so uh it was good did you did you ask me something i thought did that i did i, I don't know over? if you've been watching watching the video at all that's what i, that's what I was kind of thinking about when you asked me questions so i didn't really ask you, oh but. no i had i have not okay. i just kind of set my phone down and and went about working so uh okay you know will do, i will i watch it now and like you know do what comes naturally as i watch it yeah probably no. i mean <laughs> yeah do you want to download it and upload it uh I, I I can. Uh, do I know how to do that? Is the question. Just go into the Skype and right click on it, and do download, and then when you go to YouTube, just click on the plus and go to upload new video, and then just select the one you downloaded. Okay. Yeah. Mostly, it's just not knowing how to download or download from Skype. But yeah, so just go to the video, and so I have to do this on the on the laptop. Correct. Yeah, just go on the laptop, and then under our conversation, you'll you'll see the video right. for Skype. So okay, and right try click. And... See if it. Yeah. Because otherwise, okay. like, yeah. I mean, wait I'll, for me to I'll... do it, and then you do the comments and stuff. Would be pretty more seamless if you did everything. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, works for you. I will. Uh, I will attempt to do that, and if I have any issues, I will. I don't know. Maybe I'll just try it again later <laughs> okay <laughs> it'll get if you have issues, sure. just let me know I'll, I'll, I'll do it otherwise if you can't figure out i'll show you how to do it all right that sounds good okay all right uh tuesday then sounds good okay talk to you then bye, right, bye.